How is it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will. I'm here on the island of Oahu in Hawaii, specifically at the Kualoa Ranch. Um, amazing, amazing place on the east side of Oahu. And if you don't know it, you know it. That's the thing. It's actually been in a bunch of movies. Uh, if you've seen Jurassic Park, Jumanji, Goodfellas, all the classics, they were all filmed here. Uh, but yeah, anything that needs a jungle scene or whatever was filmed here at Kualoa Ranch. Um, like any ranch, you would figure they have the normal things like hogs, pigs, cattle, horses, chickens, they have eggs, but they have something else very interesting, oysters. And they are the only commercially growing oyster farm in the chain of uh, the Hawaiian Islands. Um, and the way that it came about is actually very interesting. So they have a fish pond and the fish pond goes out to the sea, comes in and it has gates. And what happens is that the fish come in to feed on the smaller bait fish and they come to the gate and then can't figure their way out. So they're getting trapped into the fish pond. Now the fish pond at one time was getting overgrown with algae and the algae was sucking out all the oxygen and killing the fish in the fish pond. So what they did was bring in the oysters to filter the water, kill off some of the algae, and make the water healthy again. Once they got the water healthy again, now they have this amazing product that seemed to be thriving in the water because it was so clean and doing so well, and that was the oysters. So one of the things they have to cultivate them a little bit differently than you would on the east or west coast of the United States. Um, every couple of weeks they flush them with fresh water because they have a particular worm that could embed themselves in the oyster. But because of that, the oysters have taken on this clean, crisp taste. And now here at the ranch, uh, every Thursday through Sunday, they have a farmer's market where they offer the produce and the, uh, the proteins that they grow and farm on the ranch. And I am here to get some oysters. Then we're gonna head to my friend Nicole's house and we'll shuck some oysters and have a good time. So these are two really important people in my life, Nicole and Joel, or I should say three, Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> so Nicole was born and raised here in Hawaii on Oahu. Joel is Hawaiian by marriage. Yeah. <laughs> And Nicole's the one who told me about the oyster farm that a lot of locals don't know about. How do you know about it? Um, so Kualoa Ranch is about 10 minutes this way from our house. And I used to grow up going to the beach over there. And um, I do a lot of weddings over there. There's wedding venues. And during COVID, they started opening up a market to sell um, all the produce that they normally were selling to restaurants that were closed during COVID. So we were signing up to go on this thing where you drive up and they put the groceries in your car. And then they started doing the oysters too. So they started the oyster farm, you know, maybe like three years ago or something, as far as I know, very recently. And um, yeah, they started doing the oysters. And so we were bringing them home and trying to figure out how to shuck them with a crown <laughs> knife or a chisel or whatever we had around yeah. during lockdown. And yeah. So, All right. Yeah. <laughs> So today Nicole's shucking. She doesn't. No, no, she's no. refusing, <laughs> but she's shucking. Yeah, she is. Um, yeah. So we're gonna keep the oysters raw. In uh, my other videos, I've cooked them. I put them in stew. I've done barbecued oysters. They're gonna be raw this time because I don't want to mess with the flavor of these. And they are wild looking. They're huge. Well, some of them are small. But so what's gonna go on top? I got stuff from the ranch. This is a pomelo. Pomelo to me is almost like a cross between like orange and grapefruit. Um, Nicole's neighbor actually has a tree and I wanted to steal one, but <laughs> that wasn't gonna work out. So I got one at the ranch. And then this, 
is what I made earlier, and this is Hawaiian chili pepper water. And it's, so the way that I made it was water, Hawaiian chili peppers, a little bit of vinegar, brought it up to a boil for a couple of minutes, and then put it in the bottle, let it cool down, and then we actually strained it to get everything out. And it is hot. It is really hot. But it's a condiment and a sauce, right? It's like a condiment, I guess, maybe it's kind of like Tabasco-ish, but on certain foods. So okay. usually with fish, stuff like that. It's not like something you would put on chili or, yeah. <laughs> so it's not, it's not, it's like, not a like a salsa sauce. It's not a hot sauce. replacement, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I took a shot and obtaining those chili peppers was no easy feat. So even Chinatown, I went everywhere, could not find them. And it's because the majority of the people just have their own plant. So I reached out to a friend Brit on Instagram and just said, hey, where can I get them? She did an APB and in 10 minutes got back to me and said, hey, I got you chili peppers. And we did like a clandestine uh, handoff in a driveway of Safeway. My savior. <laughs> so chili these peppers. were the hard, I feel like I'm doing a drug deal in a uh, parking lot. That's almost what this felt like. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem, anytime. <laughs> so I got my chili peppers. But all right, let's go through the shucking. And in my other two videos, we go through the shucking also, and I had James on the last one who does it expertly, but we're gonna do it one more time just to catch you up. Yeah, you better do it, because I, I can't get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. Okay, so you have the hinge back here, and this is, they also didn't have an oyster knife, so we picked up one of those for them. But you have the hinge, and you work the knife into the hinge, and you don't, have to do it strong that's the thing a lot of people push and that's when you push the knife into your hand you're just wiggling it in to break that hinge not hard at all so now it's in and sometimes it's easier to put it on the towel and all we're gonna do is turn this like a key like a screwdriver so now that it's in I give it a turn oh see now I look like a jerk <laughs> <laughs> now that it's in give it that little twist Oh, these are beefy, huh? You guys, oh, yeah, I hear it. There, there it we is. go. Oh. <laughs> and we popped it open. All right, don't don't hold me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so now, take your knife and you go along the top, and that cuts the inductor muscle. And there's your oyster. So now I'll take your knife underneath. And cut that muscle again. There you go. Put that on ice. <laughs> In the baking pan. In the baking pan. <laughs> All right. All right. I actually worked with Will and the aforementioned James <laughs> at an oyster restaurant. <laughs> I don't know how to do any of this. Okay. Three point fish. Put it this represent. like sharp side this way. Yeah. Okay. But put it put it in the paper in the towel just to start off. Okay. Just so that, there you go. Oh man. So not too too hard, and all you're doing is wiggling it back and forth to get it in. Like down. Yeah. So that's in. Now give it a twist. There you oh, go. I heard it. Aha! Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, now that's oh. how you lose a hand. I'm coming for you, James. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> no, I don't got it. Yeah, I just heard it pop. These are beefy oysters, man. <laughs> yeah. This is why the clam knife was mangled. <laughs> mangled. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't, I can't do it. Is this like exactly what you're saying not to do right now? Like, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> sweating. <laughs> You can. Permanent shaka coming. You can. Permanent shaka. Okay. There you go. Now twist. There you oh! go. <laughs> okay. And then cut all the way up. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, you didn't. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now you cut underneath. Watch her get a pearl. <laughs> <laughs> It's only if you mangled it. So the fancy people. So they don't know. They don't know, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. It's pretty good. All right. <laughs> On to the eyes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See, you're professional. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chewy, you're next. Chewy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna shuck the rest of these, so we'll see you in about 45 minutes. <laughs> It's like, oh, that smells Ooh. so good. Yeah. Giant rind, huh? I was gonna say the, the payoff. Uh... Oh yeah. There's nothing better than watching a shop cut. I know. <laughs> Where? Is the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, the the one I had at the house was a was a bit was a bit bigger than that. This one, <laughs> this one had a lot of rind to it. But like one of those Russian dolls. <laughs> here's here's the best part for a dozen oysters. I'm probably just gonna use that. <laughs> oh man, look at this! Let's push them all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Little touches of that. Spicy. Just like a tiny bit in each one. I think so. Oh god, it's so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too gonna... much. Too much. <laughs> too much. <laughs> Drops. There you go. All right. Really? And then these are uh, radish microgreens. From Koopa so Place. Put... From where? Koopa Place. Where's that? Um, I don't know where they're located, but they do like all kinds of microgreens. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And sometimes they have like edible flowers and stuff like that. I don't even know if we're gonna need the the lemon. All right, dig in. <laughs> Can't wait. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Get mine. Mm. It wasn't too spicy. It wasn't too spicy. I mean, it was no. spicy, but it wasn't too spicy. Mm. No, it wasn't over oh, the top. Dang, good. Now, you know how they always say, oh, that one's just like cucumbery and all that. that that's what I'm getting on that one. That was oh, yeah. So oh, fresh. So, like, like I said at the farm, um, they rinse all of their oysters with fresh water once a week. So they just have this really crisp, clean, man, they're, they're amazing. Like, East Coast oysters can be a bit briny. These are, like, a west coast but even lighter not as creamy as the west coast they're pretty good that chili it wasn't too much the chili yeah. pepper water that yeah. was that was a good amount yeah. and that little bit of the pomelo just a little bit of citrus because i like lemon on mine but uh all right we're gonna smash these <laughs> if you like this episode hit like hit subscribe smash the like but we'll see you on the next one <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Smash them. Like <laughs> Smash them. <laughs> Cooking with oysters. <laughs>